I recently received my personal planner as a prize from a giveaway hosted by STB Studies and Personal Planner. Now, Personal Planner is a Swedish company that makes customizable planners since they do not believe in the saying, one size fits all. It took me like an hour or two just to finish customizing the planner because there are just so many different designs to choose from. It took around a month for the item to arrive here in the Philippines but of course, it depends on where you currently reside. So upon receiving the item, Phil Post notified me that there were some parts of the package that had been opened due to the handling as it was being shipped but luckily, there was a bubble wrap that protected the planner so the planner was not harmed. So upon opening the planner, you will get a small letter from Lisa who is the customer service support and at the back is just a monthly draw you could join in Instagram, of course, hosted by Personal Planner. Next is a transparent sleeve that you can use to insert documents and keep it in your planner. Next is an elastic thing that is like used to close your planner. And next are just some stickers that you can use to personalize your planner. And lastly is a mini ruler that acts like a bookmark for easy access to a particular page in your planner. Now, note that all these accessories are free every time you purchase a planner from Personal Planner. So now, we will be setting up the accessories and integrate them into the planner. So first off, I'm attaching the transparent plastic sleeve onto the planner. For me, I placed it after the cover of my planner and surprisingly, it is easy to place and all you need to do is just line it up with the holes of the spiral bound and I also just place the stickers in the sleeve. Next is I'm setting up the elastic thing and all you need to do is insert the mental ends of the elastic thing to the back end of the planner cover and just pull it and then ta-da! Now let me give you a tour of my personal planner. So first, there's a hard transparent cover that is in the front and back of the planner to protect the cover of the planner. The cover of my planner is just a picture I found on Pinterest. Next is my plastic sleeve. And after the plastic sleeve that houses my stickers is an owner page. Um, in the owner page, I just customize it to put motivating quotes so that Whoever finds my planner has now some motivation. Now, you can also choose when do you want your planner to start. For me, I put it on January thinking international shipping is very fast. You can also choose what layout you want the planner to be. I chose to have the weekdays having a bigger column compared to the weekends so I have more space to write the deadlines and my to-do list for each day. Now, in each day, there's like a yellowish label and that is for me to put the number of hours I studied so it helps me keep track of how much time I'm studying per day. Unlike the footer part of the planner, I was able to customize it. For the left pages, I put three tables of test of the week where I can place the test happening in the week and this gives an easy glance of what test I have for that week. On the right side, we have a graph of the week table and I use it to graph the study hours of the week and then Next is just a calendar of the current and upcoming month. Now, Personal Planner allows you to choose extra papers for free and I chose to have a monthly planner for each month as I always use the monthly page to see events of the month at a glance. Now, other customizable pages I have are the my schedule page where I can write my school schedule which would be helpful when I start college in the fall. Next, I have a books to read and shows to watch pages. And this is basically just like a bucket list of the books and shows I want to read and watch in 2021. Next, I have a yearly habit tracker to track my habits I want to consistently keep doing throughout the year. Next, I have lined paper, but you may not see the lines as the lines are really light. And lastly, I also have dotted paper which also may not be obvious due to maybe the light and of course the lines being very light. So now let us set up the planner by doing a mini plan with me. So first, I will be setting up the monthly page for the month of February. Now, here is my personal review of the 
planner have been using it for about three weeks as of editing this so the pros of this planner is that there are aspects of this planner you can personalize like the cover header design owner page planner layout page footer start and end date and even the extra pages so this is good for people who like to customize the planner cover and even like the layout of the planner since we all have unique planning layouts and i also like how thick the pages are and my fine liners do not bleed unless of course you color using dark colors or you use so much force when coloring but even with that bleeding it isn't that even much noticeable since i'm also using an a4 planner it's really big it's basically like almost the size of a bond paper in letter size and i just love how much space i get to write my homework tests and even my to-do list now i'm setting up my weekly pages for the month of february and of course i'm also setting my habit tracker now for the cons i don't know having the planner in a4 size will make the planner heavy but basically the weight of my textbook is like equal to my planner so i don't really know how i will manage to carry this when physical classes resume but another one is a spiral thing i found that those big thick spiral bounds are giving me a hard time in writing in some parts of the pages that are near the spiral bound and next is that there's no outside monthly tab that can help for navigation per month so you would have to use the ruler given as like a bookmark or you see there will be like small colors that will represent each month but those are just really tiny so those who have eyesight problems will also not be able to find that really helpful next is that the customizability of the planner so i feel that it's not that customizable compared to what i was um expecting because for example in designing the planner layout they will give you options but what if those options that they gave you are not what works for you so i hope personal planner may allow people to design their own planner layout and not just like choose them from the options and even the extra pages are also not that customizable because you will have to choose what extra pages you want and if the extra pages um design do not like fit you then sorry you you have to just choose whatever there is so i hope they give us options to be able to customize the extra pages like by ourselves and i also hope they like allow us to customize the text of the um planner in terms of the font and like text colors and um the big con i can think of is the price of this planner had i not won the giveaway i had to pay 60 dollars for the a4 size and just to show you here are the other prices for each size and if you can see even the smallest one of the planner size is like 30 dollars which is not cheap since that's around 1500 pesos and normally we filipinos buy planners for like around 500 pesos or even cheaper in like shopee or lazada now people say maybe it's just like due to the thickness of the paper and like personalization factor but for me it still wouldn't be worth it if it's just for those two factors since i can just print the pages and bind it myself for like a lesser cost so after setting up the planner here's how it looks like overall i can say i really love my personal planner because of the bigger space and thickness of the paper and also the personalization i just hope that in the future we can get to customize the planner more to make it like more personalized. I can definitely recommend this if anyone wants a planner that they can have fun customizing like I did. But for me, it is not like a necessity that you need to get a planner from personal planner if you don't have the money to pay for it as there are other cheaper alternatives like doing bullet journaling or using printables and just buying an affordable planner from like Shopee or Lazada. But if you have the money, then I can say just buy it and have fun customizing it. And that's all for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And do let me know your opinions about this planner and whether or not you like physical planners or digital planners. 
and I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye!